Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Today I'm going to show you an antenna, a magnetic loop antenna, but it's for VHF. Now, I just received the package from Canada. It looks big, but it's actually extremely thin. It doesn't even look like the antenna connector would fit in there, but it does. Now, you all know I like uh, military VHF radios. Not especially for prepping, because of course they are very heavy. But uh, I do like to operate 6 meter FM, and uh, that's what I intend to use this antenna for. It is made by Bob at uh, VHFloop.com, and it is a very small and very good looking antenna. Uh, CNC machine cut, so very precise. Let's have a look at uh, what's in the package. As you can see here, it's a very simple antenna. You have the loop itself. Here we have the capacitor plates and the advantage of these plates, of course, is that they are pretty cheap to make. So it keeps the antenna affordable, although it's not the cheapest antenna, but once again, it's well made. So this will be used for the capacitor and the two plates together will form the uh, capacitor. We have the inner loop here, which is used to, uh, for feeding the antenna. And here we have a base plate and some screws. Of course, we have the antenna connector as well. Being machine cut, it is of course very uh, precisely done. Uh, the edges are a little bit rough, but that's on purpose, uh, just to keep the cost uh, low enough. Uh, of course, you uh, can just take some sandpaper and uh, round them up a little bit. All you need to assemble the antenna is a Phillips screwdriver. You don't need instructions really, because it's so simple. I would call it self-evident. I'm going to fix the base first so that I can work on the, uh, the rest of the antenna. And that's about it. The connector goes in first, followed by the big hole of the feeding loop, the nylon insulator, followed by a washer, the small hole of the feeding loop, another washer, and the nut. That's it. The capacitor plates are bolted the same way as the base, uh, which I have to say is a pretty clever design. So here you have the assembled capacitor and uh, you uh, tune the frequency using these uh, nylon nuts. And uh, Bob gives you an extra one just in case. Of course, it's not something that you're going to uh, change the frequency very often because it's not very practical. It's not like you would just have a single knob to uh, change the frequency. Uh, you have to change it from both sides and make sure the plates are parallel. Here's the antenna shown next to its uh, larger cousin. Of course, the uh, big difference is in the capacitor. My HF loop here uh, uses a Russian vacuum capacitor and uh, the uh, VHF loop uses the uh, capacitor plates. This is much cheaper, of course, than using a uh, vacuum capacitor. And this is why uh, most of the time large magnetic loops, or even small ones, are expensive because of the cost of the uh, vacuum capacitor. I'm using a BNC adapter with uh, RG316 cable. I put an insulator, just a catalog here, between the base and the uh, metal table. Uh, I think the metal table might be affecting the loop. I'm not sure if that's going to have uh, any adverse uh, effect on it, but I'll check it out. One word of caution, never ever touch any metallic part of the antenna while transmitting. That could be very dangerous. Radiation, by the way, is going to be in the plane of the antenna and all around. I put the antenna on my little workbench here. Uh, there is a bit of metal uh, not very far from it, the railing here. I'm hoping it's not going to affect uh, the loop. And I'm hoping the uh, workbench uh, is not going to affect the loop as much as the uh, metal table would. I'm going to set myself up about 10 feet away. I don't want to be too close to the antenna while I'm transmitting because I'm going to try to uh, put 50 watts into it, so we'll see. Uh, if uh, the voltage is too high, you would see uh, arcing between the plates, but of course it's not as bad as uh, another capacitor, but uh, still you want to avoid that.
Here's my first scan. You can see the uh, resonant frequency is slightly above 55.5 MHz. Since the frequency is a little bit too high, I'm going to screw in the nylon nuts here to put the plates a little bit closer together. After some fiddling, I'm just on 51.5 MHz, exactly the frequency I want. Now, it wasn't that difficult actually, but you know, it took a little bit of time. So I moved the antenna a bit away from the railing and I got a better SWR. It went from 2 to 1 to 1.5 to 1. At the end, I was only moving one bolt to uh, set up the tuning. Now I'm going to see the spacing to see what kind of voltage I can uh, put into this antenna. And it's 8.6 millimeters, so uh, 1000 volts per millimeter. So I could uh, easily put, uh, well, a lot of power in it. So I'm all set up here with the uh, VRM5080 tank radio and immediately I noticed that it's quieter than uh, my other antennas which is to be expected of uh, magnetic loop antennas. I'm on medium power, 10 watts. CQ, 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 CQ. Ici F4 uh, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. F4, W, B, Y, and Q, R, Z. Let's try 50 watts. CQ, 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 CQ. Ici, F4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. F4, W, B, Y. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. Well, it does work. Of course, uh, there's nobody listening, uh, as usual, on 6 meter FM. I really need to take this antenna out for portable operations. Of course, uh, right here, you know, 6 meter FM, <laughs> there's very little chance to uh, find someone. But this for portable operations would be great because it's extremely light, uh, easy to carry, it's small, so it's really made, I mean, it's really good for portable operations. You could dismantle this in a few minutes, put it in your bag and take it on vacation, for instance. I really need to take this on a summit somewhere, or cover a much wider area and have a chance to make contact. It is bare aluminum, so stainless steel would have been nice, but again, the cost would have been much more, uh, much higher. Uh, the finish, again, is, you know, not, uh, it's really not finished, actually, which in a way, well, allows you to uh, finish it any way you want. You could polish it, you could uh, anodize it, you could uh, powder coat it, you know, just anything you want. It's not, the only thing that uh, I don't, well, the only thing that bothers me a little bit is the price, because it's not a cheap antenna. Other than that, I'm pretty darn happy with it, I have to say. I will take it uh, in the field for portable operations up uh, up a mountain, probably uh, the uh, Coldes or... Uh, Plateau de Cosol or some place like that and uh, I will make contacts with it but I wanted to show it to you first and I didn't want to wait for that so you have a uh, preview of it so to speak and uh, then I'll have another video with uh, the uh, field operation have a good one